guys what up welcome back to my youtube channel and today tutorial is how to make the flash warning effects that are currently trending on tiktok with vegas pro 18 software and for this particular tutorial you don't need any plugins you can just use whatever uh, tools available in vegas pro uh, but you will require to download this stock footage here that i made so make sure you have this video clip before proceeding with the tutorial now the uh, flash warning effects are just a simple video that was shot on a tripod and you can just mask out a portion of your video and then put a picture of your favorite or crush celebrities or enemy character in the video and then got some rainbow effect flashing in uh, but i took a different approach whereby i record my video handheld and even though it's handheld you can motion track the video and pin your character to the video Alright, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a video track above my video here. And I'm gonna add this anime cartoon here uh, above my video track. Alright, so uh, as you can see, there's a black thing behind it, even though it's a PNG format. So all you have to do is just right click on the video, press properties, go to media, and on the alpha channel, you wanna select straight unmet. So it will get rid of the black. If your picture is not PNG, you can just mask out the character by using the mask on the pen and crop, right? So let's adjust the uh, character here. So I want to go to video effects and search for picture and picture. Drag and drop it to your character or to the picture. And I want to place it somewhere over here. Now I want this character sitting behind the mountain over here. All right, let's mute the track temporarily. I want it to be mass. I mean, sitting behind a mountain here. But as you can see, um, I have to mask out this video and make it to make it even worse. It's a handheld shot, so I have to motion track this video. So uh, you can motion track the mask, and I'm gonna skip this part. Uh, because I already made a tutorial on how to motion track Vegas Pro 18. I highly recommend you guys to watch that video first before proceeding with the motion track. So what I'm going to do now is just temporarily the um, the character here. And I'm going to add a bezier mask to my video. And I'm going to start uh, tracing out the mountain over here. Right, so I already done motion track the foreground of the video clip. You can see how well it track and I can close it now. And I just going to quickly rename the track to be foreground, just like so. And then I'm going to duplicate the track and I'm going to rename this one background. So we won't get confused, right? And for the background, you just want to simply get rid of the bezier mask so we can see the background here. And then you want to move your foreground layer above your uh, character or picture layer. And then we can unmute the picture now. You can see how our character is sitting behind the mountain here. So I'm going to start readjusting again until I feel where it's supposed to be. I think this one looks fine. And, um, just find a spot where you want the character to be appear and I want it to appear somewhere here. So press M on your keyboard to add a marker as a guidance. Okay, so I just gonna nicely place my character uh, picture just right behind the marker here. Stretch it out a bit. And then uh, we want to temporarily disable again the character and we're gonna motion track the mountain one more time. And this time we're just gonna track where we can pin our character to the video so I'm gonna pin it somewhere around here and I'm gonna start motion track again All right so I already done motion track the mountain and what you can do now is just click the motion track here and drag and drop to our character and just uh, release it and press it the Vegas and picture and picture so it will transfer the tracking data uh, if I play you can see how well the motion track to the mountain and I just want to refine a bit more of the foreground here. I'll go back to the bezier mask and add a bit of feathering so that it blend very well. Probably go inward in, instead of both directions. I think that's better. All right, so once we're done and happy, and we're going to add another video track above our layer. And I'm just going to name this track real quick Adjustment Layer. Now you can watch my adjustment layer tutorial so you can get a better understanding. 
and on this adjustment layer we, we want to add a fact color curve and just drag and drop the infrared to this particular layer and once you've done that just simply switch the color curve behind the composite so it'll give you this kind of infrared look on our video now we want the effect to take place the moment it hit on this marker here so what you can do is just right click on the track and press insert uh, mute okay add a one marker point here on the marker and just mute the other part so the front of the plot doesn't have any effects but the moment it go behind the marker the effect will take place you can zoom in and refine a bit more so that the adjustment layer only affect this particular track and then we're going to add another video track above and this time we want to add the rainbow uh, effect that i made okay extend it a bit out and what you want to do now is just simply uh, blend the rainbow layer so probably we're gonna use difference okay difference look just fine okay now once uh, you change the composite to difference uh, it should done at this point but then it's kind of slow you can speed up the video by holding control and then just stretch all the way in so it will speed up the effects if you want it to go even faster you can insert a velocity and increase it even more so you get much more faster color variation there okay so you can play around with the blending maybe you can choose burn instead okay if you choose burn you can see how our frontal portion now is darkened you can just right click and attract uh insert a mute again we're going to do the same process like what we did to our adjustment layer i'm going to place it just right down the marker get it down and so that the moment you hit that marker that it will just appear so that's how you do the flash warning effects with vegas pro and if you have any question related you can leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you guys so see you guys next time on my next video